My name is Denislav Marinov. I'm currently a third year student studying physics and chemistry at the University of Cape Town. I'm currently running a 3D printing and design freelancing business where I design prototypes and robotics and products for clients. And now I've decided to pivot into actually designing and manufacturing my own 3D printing technologies. Uh, from the desktop hobbyist 3D printers to large scale industrial manufacturing machines. I decided to pursue the technology and see whether I could contribute to the advancement of these kind of technologies. Uh, so then I, I saved up enough money with the help of my parents to buy my first 3D printer. And by assembling it myself, I kind of learned what it takes to create a quality 3D printing device. And having that knowledge and reading a lot of books and watching videos, I started to play around with my own designs of 3D printers. And about four years ago, I designed my first 3D printer that was larger than my current 3D printer, but it also doubled as a CNC machine and a laser cutter. So it was the first hybrid device that I built. The printer is called Big Brother, and the reason being is that it is the largest project I've ever worked on. This technology differs greatly to normal 3D printers. Um, for one, the equipment that I've been using and the components are industrial grade components. So for example, a lot of these parts are industrial grade ball screws. These are made with high tolerances, high precision, and they allow for really precise manufacturing. So you'll find that a lot of the parts are custom made from aluminium that I had to get custom made with water jetting. you also find that I'm using special linear rails that allow for very smooth linear motion. So these are all industrial grade components put on a 3D printer. It's something that you don't usually see in, and that's what makes this a unique device. So these are incredibly expensive parts, uh, hence the price tag of this kind of printer. What makes this device unique is that apart from just 3D printing, you can also use CNCing technologies and spindles to produce and cut metal and wood components as well. You also have a laser engraving system that allows you to cut plexiglass and also just create your own designs and engraving. So this makes it a really diverse and universal industrial machine that can be used for many things. In terms of industrial applications, there's a lot of parts that need to be printed on a larger scale. So hence I decided to build this large printer that has over uh, one cubic meter of printing volume. So that allows you to produce life-size replicas and prototypes of your devices. So that could be wind turbines, it could be steering wheels, it could be furniture. There's so many things you can produce with this kind of device. Another name for this technology is rapid prototyping because it gives you the ability to create prototypes at a very fast pace. Usually a process that will take you months to develop a, a product and take it to market, you can do it in under a week. So that cuts down your costs exponentially. And I mean, you can get a product out there and go through so many iterations in a very short span. This is the first of its kind in South Africa and Africa as a whole, this kind of hybrid technology. So it really has the potential to disrupt a lot of industries uh, across the continent. I believe the time has come for South Africa to take the lead in this realm. And instead of us importing technologies from around the world, from Europe and America, it's time that America and Europe import from South Africa. And that's the ultimate goal. <laughs>